So some of you may have heard that my wife and I are expecting our first child here in a few short weeks. And because of that, I was obviously inspired to build something absolutely absurd for her. Problem is, most things for babies are cribs or changing tables or tiny dressers, and they're not that epic. I wanted to build something we could keep basically forever. So I decided to build this. Rocking chairs are hard, so I bought a plan. Now all I gotta do is figure out how to read. Sam, we got a lot of work to do. Why can I not identify wood right now? Both of these look like white out. It looks like white out. <sighs> I didn't tell you, it's all your fault. Well, because you know, extreme ownership isn't something we do around here. Jordan pulled the wrong wood from the stack. I just cut all the parts out of rough sawn people. Not all of them, but half of them. So I'm gonna recut them with the correct things. Still messed it up. I know I need however many parts are on this list. If I cut them down first, rough saw them on the bandsaw, it'll be easier to joint and then I don't have to take as much material off. So there's a cup here. If I was to plane this whole board down, I'd have to get rid of about an eighth of an inch of material. But if I only come over and do half of it, you can see much flatter on that half side. I won't have to remove as much. So save some material and some time. get away with domino in instead of cut tenons for it all yeah because i know us and like as much as i'd love to do this traditional joinery i'm just not that good stand here tell me you can't i think what i'm gonna do is do what do what i know i can domino hobble on the lake up are you sure dominoes is the way to go on this yes i think so that's the appropriate adult move damn it damn it bernice i like it but we'll do it i believe in you john so not gonna lie, neither one of us have ever done something this complex. We've got angled tenons and mortises. We have radius shoulders. It calls for use of a hollow chisel mortiser. Mine's small and we've used it- Exactly once. Exactly we once. One, we just don't know how the hell to use it. So we're gonna use a panta router. We've never done that before. Why not try it for the first time on something brand new? The most important thing is- Snacks. Snack time and then bandsaw. Bandsaw. Pretty break. All right, so we just got this thing and we're going through the learning curve and I gotta say, one of the cooler tools it's we've ever cool. used. It's like a CNC without a robot. And then sideways. So we're gonna cut a couple more test joints, get comfortable with it, and then I'm gonna dive in and put some holes in the wood that we can't replace. Always test, children. Clear! Fun, 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 fun. I'm a little puckered because we only got one shot at this. We're going to cut our mortises with the edged guide on, on the router because I'd have to find center of every single mortise and there's so many locations. I think this would just be better and then we'll cut the tenons on the pan router. <laughs> All right, kids, this is what we call the moment of truth. No coming back. We did six tests, they work. Oh, hell yeah! You son of a bitch, get your ass in your home! Yeah, I got lazy on this side. I left a little bump. Damn, boy! I don't know about you, Sam, but them are the best damn mortars and tenons I've ever made. Shit, I'm gonna go home and celebrate with tacos! Dude, this is rules. Why? Why? Why?
believe we did it. Not to mar anything. It's lining up, right? That looks a little like a chair. It's a little off. I am a squeeze clam. Squeeze clam. My name's Squeeze. You get the splice, so the chair is wider at the front. Super freaking cool. Safe. All right, this is the part that had me absolutely terrified. That looks good. Yeah, it's gonna be. They're going actually pretty good. We gotta get all three of these in here. PIC decided to do his job, so I'm on a solo duty here. This is the most intricate joinery I think Sam and I have ever done, and it's actually going together. So we're gonna keep chugging along, and then we're gonna get onto some bent land, which should be fun. All right, kiddos, so Jordan made this jig for us on the CNC. We've got some tape on it. We need to make this thing rock. Not this kind of rock, but this kind of rock. That is impressive. Because we're left handed morons. <laughs> hey. Oh, are you admiring my chair? Or are you just happy to see new Squirrely Squad merch? Because we don't have a sponsor on this build, so if you want to support the channel, snag up some of our new merchandise or some of our new items. I got a link down in the description. Appreciate you. Squirrely, level 1000. So, we've reached a point now where we're notched, but we have to cut a mortise that's one eighth of an inch by one eighth of an inch, which is basically just a hole in the armrest. So it could get completely ruined. Fun! <laughs> and nerve wracking. We're making headway, this thing's looking awesome. We'll get the armrests in and then start working on the rocker feet. We should have some semblance of a chair here pretty soon. Bald ears. And beer lines! See, he wants to, he's trying to split there. Over handle today. Oh no, I've never seen that before. How did you? I don't know. And we just gotta get this last handle fitted. Just a little bit snug. Just trimming up the inside here. Once we get that fit, we'll trace these out for shape. You get this thing hopefully looking like a rocking chair by the end of the day. It's not binding. Never crack it again. Damn it. You know where this needs to be and that needs to be. Just trying to figure it out. We're gonna drill a hole in this thing. Does it kind of look like the thing we intended to make? A little off. She freaking rocks! The chair rocks! That is so satisfying. Wow. Wow! Now just like five straight hours of touch up. Let's 
spent $250 on tools to do upholstery. There's a pretty awesome tutorial on how to do this on the plan for this chair. So we're gonna give it a shot. Never done anything like this, but according to like uh, real professionals that do a lot of chair work, learning basic upholstery skills is hugely valuable. So we're gonna find out today. Oh look, I already cut myself on the packaging. This is a seat pan. We already test fit the seat pan into our seat. It seems like it's doable. This is the stretcher. Oh. So it stretches it, see? Pat, we we get there. Oh, contact. Good and stretch there. So that, make sure not to stab yourself in the chest with it. And give yourself enough to roll it over. We have some leftover foam from the guitar case we built. We're going to use it as our first layer and then build off of that. Should be using something more dense, but we don't have anything because we are idiots. If it doesn't work, we just quit. So according to this plan, you get your garage sale turkey slicer, or if you're us, you buy one brand new. We want our seat to be higher in the front than the back, so we need to create a taper. We want the total overall height to be roughly six inches too, so wish me luck. I feel a very strong inclination for squirreliness. I feel like an epic squirreliness is coming. You make it in your comments and you don't think about my feelings when you say them. John, you want to go fishing together and be best friends? No, I don't want to work. More fun. I'm trying to do this off of memory. If only we had all the information in the world available at our fingertips. So we're just gonna keep on chugging along, building up this base. Next, we're getting into what's called the uh, mousselin, which is like a canvas that goes underneath the show face, which we've got some good tweed for that. Not gonna lie, the bottom of that looks like something that you'd buy at a store. That's my face. Seat's looking decent. We're now going to glue up the chair so I can make sure the seat fits before I put the final cover on that and then we can get final finish on this and we should have a rocking chair here pretty darn soon. Nora, janky it all the time. Yeah, let's get janky. Damn it! Why does Sam have to do his job? The damn thing off the clamps. Are you recording me? Good. Just take it all out the clamps. Oh, okay. Out the clamps. Just take it all out the clamps. So, chair completely assembled now. We can test the seat cushion and get the first actual rock in this SOV. So this is why people do this style in the white, so you can test it. You fit Sam? Get that shit out of here! Who put this hose in the middle of my shop? I just really hope this thing doesn't collapse into a thousand pieces. Said it's only rated for someone who weighs 250. <laughs> you know what this is, Jordan? This rocks! Oh, I wonder if people I'm a little big for it, but it's gonna be the perfect size for Sam. Perfect. You gotta try it, Sam. Here, give me a camera. I mean, she's comfy as hell, huh? Good night. So this just essentially becomes the same thing we've already done with basically everything else. Damn, boy! Damn, boy! Sure, thick as hell. Damn, boy, he's thick. That's a thick ass boy. God, I'm so proud of myself. Let us spray. I wanted to build something we could keep basically forever. So I decided to build this. Mm -hmm. 